Let's put an example about smelling. If I smell a flower, a student has no style, and I can be a very good actor, could be even Laurence Olivier, or a great actor, but he has not learned the art of mind. He would start, please, could you smell a flower? I don't want somebody from here coming, because you would have the answer when you do it yourself. I don't want you. I will show you what I see. I will show what I see from my students when they come the first time, when they know nothing. Student. Like this, mine. <coughs> Everybody has seen it. Now comes a moment. <coughs> has the flower a perfume? Has a flower no perfume? Has a flower a bad perfume? Don't take pictures. Don't take. It's always bad, because when you take pictures, it has to be the essence of the attitude, because if I do this, it becomes horrible. <laughs> the study of movement has never to be seen in mind, because we take the moments which are, the, the important moments are when the moment is revealed through his, like a sculpture through his sate. It cannot be revealed. I take a flower and I do this. Now it looks like I go somewhere. <laughs> It has to be completely studied. This is why I have to be very careful about taking pictures. I don't want pictures to be taken. I want you to take pictures in your brain. Thank you. Okay. Because this is a laboratory, and this goes in the light of your mind, not in the light of, it, of, of, of uh, people. I'm not interested. I'm interested in you. No. Voilà. I take a flower, I open the hand, I make a talk and then the perfume has to be revealed, magnified. Because if I do a perfume, I do, nobody sees it. Of course, if I am in a mime drama play, where I play a character, and I will take a flower, that will be, it's enough. But if it's the essence of a student has to learn, is to open the hand first, but when you do this with your hand, what is this hand doing? If one hand is like this, it's like a piece of meat. <laughs> and this is why the genius of sculptors and painters was to give form to the hand. You mean form to... And they knew how to give... They were mining painters and mining sketchers. They put psychology and, uh, I would say, aesthetic in the movement. Now, if I have to take a flower and I do this, my hand has to decolorate. My, or my hand stays here and I do just this and I can forget it, I don't see it. Or when I see it, I take a flower, pick it up, the hand is here. Now you have to watch my feet. Imagine I have no style. I take a flower. Put my feet. <laughs> it is destroyed. I have to create the unity. Nothing is seen alone. Everything is connected with everything. This is why when you study, first you have to see the balance. Zero, what is the balance of the body? Now you see head, neck, trunk, the whole body has first to be like go to every direction and to already pick up a flower, I have to know how is the attitude of the hand, what is the mudra of the hand, what is my other hand doing, what is my feet doing, what is my foot doing, and pick up the flower. Now will my foot go here during I do this and I have to watch here and here and here and here. That means that the whole body has to be in what I call harmony. But this is very important for the identification of every movement. 
And this I say, then, now when it, it goes quicker, sm uh, smelling a perfume, smelling without perfume, and smelling with a bad perfume. But when he studies mine, his sensibility of the knowledge of the technique starts to feel and to create emotion.